Well, Thomas, what are your thoughts after a big win tonight? Um, pleased, of course. Happy with um, we yeah, with a big with a big win and actually, um, of course, uh, in in many ways uh, a strong performance. Uh, and especially if you take away the first 50 minutes, then I think it was a very strong performance. I think they were brilliant born with the first 50 minutes and I think they were totally on top of the game. We couldn't find our, our feet um, in the game. Uh, but after that, I think we um, grew into the game. And after those 50 minutes, I think actually we were the, the better side. And we okay now, okay, now we're on top. And then they, then they scored. A good goal. Uh, I think we should do better, but a good goal. I uh, need to give them uh, that. Uh, came back again. Good equaliser. Good, good, um, good set piece goal. Um, second half they changed their system, so because they couldn't handle, especially I think our right hand side uh, with their five three two. So we kept running behind them um, uh, down there. Uh, but they changed the system, uh, so it was a little bit more even. I, f I, th I felt. And I think that we were on top the first 15, 20, you know, slightly on top. But then they had a spell where I felt, mm, okay, we need to just get get into this game. But we talk about, especially in the halftime, this is going to be a tight game where we, you know, need to hang in there if we get under pressure, which I think we were in five, seven, seven minutes just before we scored the winning goal. And then we have that, you know, we have players that can decide the game and, and Brian's top action uh, just set the, up, uh, the goal up perfectly for Tariq. Uh, and after that, we saw we saw the game out, and I and I think actually we didn't give a chance away in the end. Must be spoke about it before about Ivan scoring a lot of goals, but now the last few weeks, Brian's got goals, uh, Sergi's got goals, two weeks scored again tonight. So yeah. the, the team really is now starting to chip in. Massively, uh, so important. Uh, we know Ivan has has been amazing for us, uh, but he cannot only rely on one one player. So that that that. Brian, Sergi, Tariq are adding goals is, 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 is fantastic, so very pleased with that. And at the other end of the pitch, especially in that first 15 minutes, we saw everything about desire to defend that, that you've talked about for, for 18 months or so. Massively. Um, I think, you know, as you said, you started with uh, Pontus, you know, clear one of the line. Uh, Rico uh, defended very well down in the box. Um, and, and we just did everything we could to hang in there. I think we should have done better if it was a collective defending, but that desire uh, to stay in the game no matter what, that um, got us through that uh, difficult spell. Um, but, but the mentality, the attitude, the character on the team, coming back from 1-0, just going back in the game, hey, no, 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 <laughs> we want to be in this game, uh, didn't want to lose, equalized, and then we had that chance, okay, now we, now we can take the win, and we did. And must, praise must go to the players and to the, the performance staff as well that since Bournemouth's last game this is, our, this is our third game to their only game tonight and at the end you couldn't, there wasn't a difference in, in the physicality of the sides. No, you could see that. I, you know, I can't praise uh, the players enough um, or uh, my fantastic staff and that's everything from the coaching staff to the performance staff to the medical staff to everyone uh, who is who's around the players because they made them available. You can see they're fresh, they're fit, they're strong, they keep going with unbelievable intensity. And we do that uh, every, every game and we're playing every third or fourth day. And, and as you said, Bournemouth had 10 days, uh, not rest, but, but no game, uh, no massive exposure before this. So, so there's a lot of uh, people that deserve a lot of praise. So they can celebrate it for 24 hours. After that, we need to be bang on again. Uh, in terms of focus on the next training and then another big, big game against Bristol. What, what are your early thoughts on that Bristol game? How, what do you see in that game? I see another big challenge um, and another, you know, another difficult team. I think I have good quality. Uh, of course, I've looked more in. I know Bristol. I know what they do. I think Dean Holden have done a good job uh, with them. Had a fantastic start to the season. Now, uh, uh, I don't know if they're struggling, I don't know exactly the, the, the games, but in the beginning they were bang up there. Um, so it'll be um, um, a, a tough task. And I think it's about us using our confidence we're getting for this uh, run of games, but we need to use it well uh, to do everything we can to get another three points. And tonight, a great way to end 2020. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, you're right. It's, uh, it's been a, a crazy year for, for Brentford Football Club. I think we have done 
a lot of things together very well. Um, so so good to end with a with a big win. So I hope all the fans will take a you know a starter before New Year's Eve with a good glass of wine or gin you know, tonic or red wine. I will take one glass tonight. <laughs>